Down in South Campus, the Fisheries Teaching and Research Facility holds an unique library. Instead of books, it catalogs fish. 7.9 million specimens are housed in the library for research purposes by the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture. The fish, the frog fish is under it, isn't it? There's the little blue bird. That is a good angler. Catherine Maslenikov, the collections manager, oversees the operations of the library. And it's basically just a library. It's a library of fish specimens that people can come and check out or use here to answer whatever research question they may have. So I'm responsible for all the ins and outs of what happens in the collection. So that's um, new material coming in that needs to be cataloged, identified, curated into the correct jars, get the labels produced. You know, there's 7.9 million individual specimens here in 145,000 catalog numbers. So it's a lot of data, it's a lot of material, and it all needs to be readily accessible. Helping Catherine out with this difficult task is a team of graduate and undergraduate students. Well, I'm a volunteer at the UW Fish Collection, which is a branch of the Burke Natural History Museum. It's just not actually in the same building. And we just do general work for the fish collection. We work on a relabeling project as well as other small projects that need to get done. I work with fish, jarring them, replacing labels, and doing whatever other tasks Catherine asks us to do pretty much. Today we were working with fish that just came out of the formalin and we were jarring them and just recording data on them. As grad students we're required to put in about four hours for the greater good of the lab and then four hours of our greater good of our projects. So we have to go through and catalog, give each one an individual number so that when you look it up online, so you can go exactly to the shelf and tell you what number and where. My master's thesis is going to be on some larval identification and phylogeny of a family of fish called the ronquils. There's a tight-knit community of fish lovers at UW, open to anyone who loves it underwater. The people, they're really fun, um, and they'll be uh, both Rachel and Carrie are TAs for the Fish 311 class, so when I get to take that, I already know my TA and my teacher, so that'll be great. I like getting to know everybody, and Rachel said she, we can like take her scuba diving gear out, and you get a lot of connections. Not only are there people who just sports fish, they just want to be able to go out and get a fishing license and go hang their fishing pole off a dock, but there's aquarists, so there's people who are really interested in, in having their own aquarium and, and keeping fish alive. You know, salmon is a huge part of our culture in the Northwest, so we have quite a lot of salmon here. And then just people find fish fascinating, you know, that particularly marine species, you know, the deep ocean is this amazingly understudied area, so there's definitely a large community that's, that's interested in fish. If you're interested in fish, you can go visit the catalog online, or you can head on down to the collection to take a tour and get involved with this group of fish lovers. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching this week's episode. I'm Stuart Marlantis. And I'm Natalie Huynh. Stay tuned on Friday nights at 7 p.m. for more of our shows. See you next time. On The Daily's Double Shot. <laughs>